Hey yo, greetings my viewers and subscribers. I'm coming at you again with another Bob Marley classic on electric guitar. You've been waiting for this one all your life. This one is entitled Pimpa's Paradise. Grab your guitars. Let's go. Okay, alright, so now that we zoomed in my people, um, Pimpa's Paradise, yeah man, a classic from Robert Nesta Marley, Robert Nesta Marley, <laughs> yeah man, um, popular known as Bob Marley, so I like, I like making it clear. Alright, so now my guitar has nothing on it whatsoever, probably a little tip of reverb, probably, you know, but I like keeping the guitar dry, because I don't want, you know, I don't want anything to, you know, kind of, I just don't want, don't want it to be misleading. Put it that way, you know. So I, I always play it clean, whether um the original has some effects in it or, or not. So um yeah. So enough of that. This song is in the key of C, right? And it has um probably about five chords, you know, five simple chords I should say. But I'm gonna show you folks how to play them, you know, different um inversions. Let's put it this way. All right, so um, so let's start with that little intro, that little riff, which is very easy and goes like this. All right, again, let me go slow. You know, I like doing that. You know, that's just me adding a little flavor to that. All right, so what I do right there, I'm probably not gonna call them out, but I'm gonna play it slow so you guys can hear and follow. All right, so I start all the way up here, probably five, six, seven, eight, nine, tenth fret first string, and I do I slide up to the twelve, back down here. So that's the eight fret. So we're still on the same string again. Back to the eight fret. Second string. 10th fret, so again, back to the um, the 8th fret, then I slide again from the 10 to the 12, back to the 8th, right, back to the 10th, second string, back to the 8th, first string, and then second string, 8th fret, so slow, my bad. If you want to hold the cards, you know, like that. All right, so very simple. All right, so let's move on to the cards. All right, so of course, it starts with the verse. So it's going to be that F, F major, but we're not going to use this F, right? I'm going to make it simple for you folks to play. Even though you guys, most of you guys know this version, I want you guys to want to play this version so this inversion right right here so this is a, this right here is an f and it's always sweeter all right so you want to come up all the way here to the fifth fret you want to bar the fifth fret with your pointer finger you want to place that you want to place the middle finger on the second string sixth fret place the ring finger on the fourth string seventh fret place the pinky finger on the fifth string, eighth fret, all right, and that right there is the F. That's the first card. So she likes, the, she likes to party. So it's gonna be four to a five. So that five is going to be the G, but instead of playing this one, I wanted to play this one. So you're gonna play 
then you're gonna slide up a hole so you're gonna be playing a lot of this in the in the song all right so she likes to party mm -mm -mm -mm. so four to the five again four to the five and four and this time you're gonna play the three and that right there is your E minor all right so you can as you, you as you um, you can see I'm making it easy to just move from one place to the other so that E minor you want to bar the whole seven fret you want to place that middle finger on the second string eight fret pinky finger on the third string ninth fret ring finger on the fourth string ninth fret right there all right if you want to play that e minor seventh which in this song i do not recommend you playing the e minor seven but e minor seven you also want to lift the pinky finger you know but you want that full e major to get that sound all right so again now to the five, four, to the five, four, to the five, no, you're gonna go four, to the three, all right, I remember it's kind of a double scan, but we're gonna get to that, all right? Now we're gonna get to the chorus, right? So we're going straight to the chorus. Back to the forum. Press paradise. That's how she was to the five. Four. To the three. So you're gonna alternate that. Alternate that. So again. Doing the chorus. That's how she was now. Pimpers paradise. That's all she was to the three, then four to the five, then four to the three. Very easy, right? So now I'm sure you guys got that. That is, it's very simple. Now we're gonna get to the part where we go every meet. Excuse my awful singing, it's in the morning, um, you know, I'm not really ready for singing. So, um, <laughs> it takes a while for my voice to warm up, as you can hear, I have a really heavy voice. So, um, so that part, da, 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 that's going to be the C. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Then back into the song. So how you play that? No, that's that C major. So you wanna come and you wanna bar the whole one, two, five, six, seven, eight fret. Place that middle finger on the third string. Third string, ninth fret. Pinky finger on the fourth string, tenth fret. Ring finger on the fifth string, tenth fret. Yeah. And I do to the three to the six now. So a lot of you folks are not really familiar with this six. The six is the A minor. I know a lot of people are gonna jump to this one, but I'm giving you something that sounds much sweeter and something that gets you to just move like this instead of moving all over the guitar. Alright? So here we go. So so of course you got that one which is a C major you already know the three now we're gonna go to the six you wanna still bar that seventh fret and now you wanna place that middle finger on the second string seventh fret am I right? let me make sure that's right no you wanna place that middle finger on the first string first string eighth fret place the middle finger on the third string ninth fret place the ring on um, the pinky finger on the second string tenth fret all right 
Don't want to confuse you folks. So again, place the middle finger by the whole 7th fret. Middle finger on the 1st string, 8th fret. Ring finger, 3rd string, 9th fret. Pinky finger on the 2nd string, 10th fret. So, so far we got... Da da da, got 10 to 6. Now you're going to go to the 4. Now you can choose if you want to use this 4, which is right here, that F major. But I would recommend go back to this one. So you have... Da da da, get ten, na, 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 na. Every minute, got ten nigga to feed. And if you listen to the bass line, you're going to realize it's going to do that. Alright, you're going to hear. Just listen to the bass line and you get that. So you're going to say, Every me. Or you can use the one that I showed you, which is going to allow you to start right back there. Then she loves to turn up in the this fashion shoe. And that is basically the whole song, you know. That is basically the whole song. I showed you everything just now. You right? So um, it's just to put it together. Remember, folks, if you do not know the original, please go and listen to the original so you can get the structure of the song. You know, so my, my lessons won't be too confusing for you because it's really not. All right? I'm just teaching the parts. That's what I'm here to do. You know, it's up to you, folks, to put it together. Right? And add your little feel, add your little flavor to it. Remember, there's no limit. There's no, you know, don't limit yourself. All right? Because remember to keep it reggae. Cool? So, as for the strumming, and remember this song, there are many versions, different versions to it. I'm teaching you the Bob Marley version. All right, we have a um, Steve Marley version, Steve Marley and Damien Marley. I'm going to do that one on, on acoustic. That one is really very sweet, some very sweet cards to it. So um, I'm going to teach you folks that one also. So um, so yeah, for, uh, as for the strumming, remember, I don't want anybody playing. All right, so once you hold that card, right, you are going to strum you're going to squeeze and you're going to release almost instantly so you're going to squeeze and release the pressure so you're going to watch my fingers so almost instantly you're also going to use a palm to rest on the strings just a little bit just a little bit for it to be you know to mute it to kill it a little bit not too much because you don't want it to be like so don't press too hard you gotta feel it. And that little double stop and thing that you're hearing right there, that's me. That's a little bit on the on the upstroke. So to get that, I just hold it a little bit longer, but you gotta feel it. Alright, and you cannot do too much in the song. Alright, so I slide, of course, which is not too hard. All right, you just want to slide from a semitone down back into that card that you're supposed to hold. And it's always best to do it when you're exiting a chorus, exiting a verse, entering a verse, entering a chorus. That's when you really do those little, you know what I mean? And, you know, spice up the song and make it sound good. I mean, that's basically it. That's all, that's all there is to it. Yeah, man. I hope this one was not too complicated. I'm sure it's not. You know, I hope it was helpful. Remember my name. And remember to subscribe to the channel. Remember, subscribe, share. Remember to hit like. It is very important to me, very important to YouTube. All right? When you hit that subscribe button, remember to hit the notification bell. Hit also whenever I post a new video or whatever I put here. 
you will be alerted you will be the first to know you remember to check out all my shorts all right it's there they are all there some spicy little stuff all right my name is zion blessed love peace out i'll see you next time